So she sent me this message last night. And in response to her message, I asked her, how do you feel? And her answer was, I don't feel anything. And she often says that to me. When we are talking about subjects that have difficulty around them for her, she often says to me, I don't feel anything. I'm done with that. I am beyond feeling about that. And it's really interesting to me that she uses those words. Because you cannot not feel something. You cannot not feel something. You're always feeling something. And so when she says to me, I don't feel anything about that. It reminds me of myself 15, 20 years ago when I used to suppress my feelings. You're always feeling something, but you know, you become strong and you refuse to acknowledge the feelings because they, if you acknowledge them, they are going to hurt so much. So you just refuse to acknowledge them. I, I use another term for that, and that is brushing it under the carpet. So now I'm not looking at it. It can't hurt me. They're still hurting you. You're just not allowing yourself to feel about it. If you did, you would know. So what that means is that you have intense emotion about this thing. Intense emotion. And you have developed a cycle on the emotional scale where you go right down because it pierces your heart. And then you come up to anger about it. And then you brush it under the carpet. Then it appears again and it hasn't been dealt with. So you, there's no love for that person. And you plumb it again. And so it just becomes a vicious cycle of plummeting, coming up to anger, revenge, plummeting, coming up to anger and revenge. In the end, the hurt of going down is so much that you, in order to stop yourself from going there, you stop acknowledging the fact that you feel anything about it. So the problem with that is it's still there. You're just not acknowledging the hurt. The thing to do is to deal with it, acknowledge it, and then four step process it away. Not because you want to benefit the person who caused the hurt, but because you want to return to being who you really are, which is a person who loves. Because as long as you're in this vicious cycle here, you cannot be in a place of love. So when we ask for clarity on all subjects, clarity, where is clarity? Clarity comes not from a place of hurt, not when you feel somebody is piercing your heart. Clarity doesn't come when you are in a place of fear or anger or revenge or frustration and worry. You've got to cross the worry line before you have clarity. So if you make a decision from here to take action, and sometimes the action we take is to take no action. So we take action in thought, meaning I will not physically act out. But you're taking action here. And the action that you're taking is all down here because you have not done the work to go up the emotional scale. So therefore, you don't have clarity. And it's true that if you act from a place where you don't have clarity, you will get results. You will get a mixed bag of results. Some you like, some shades and some shades you won't. You'll get some result, but it won't be a result that is completely pleasing to you 
because the only thing that can ever please you is to be up here in a place of love and joy. So clarity. So two things I want to say to all of you this morning. One, you are always feeling something. Don't hide your feelings from yourself. Acknowledge the feeling and do something about it. And number two, do something about it. Do the work to go up the emotional scale. Always. Love, as Dr. Wayne Dyer said, no matter what the question, love is the answer. And if you're not feeling love, you don't have the answer. Good words. If you are not feeling love, you don't have the answer. Have a super fantastic day. And remember, clarity is the most important thing. Decisions taken from a place of clarity are the best decisions. And you can take a decision from a place low on the emotional scale and line up with it. After you make that decision, I will never speak to this person again. That's the decision. It's coming from here, from a place of anger, revenge, hurt. Then accept it. And acceptance doesn't mean I don't feel anything about it. Because acceptance is over here at a place of satisfaction. So if you're telling yourself, I don't feel anything, that's not a place of acceptance and satisfaction. Which means that work needs to be done. Work needs to be done to heal you, not necessarily to heal the relationship. Work needs to be done to heal you. All right, unicorns. Love you all so much. Have an absolutely super fantastic day. And I will see all of you tomorrow. Bye for now.